Hey, welcome back to Lake Mark Dock Company's uh, podcast where we discuss things we discuss with our customers out at their lakefront and share that information and that knowledge with you um, as you uh, look at expanding your waterfront and doing things at your lake place. Uh, I've got Daniel Jackson with us again. And uh, the topic we were talking about earlier today was, you know, I just bought a new PWC um, and how do I want to store uh, that PWC or a pair of them? Because Lord knows you can't have one, you got to have two because everybody's got to have fun together. How do I store those at, on the dock or how do I store those uh, at the lake? And, you know, that's a big conversation we have with a lot of our customers. Uh, they go, hey, you know, just came home from the marina and I've got these <laughs> these two guys and I don't have a trailer because I didn't want to spend the extra money. So how do I, what am I doing? How am I doing it? So I guess at the most basic level, you know, I've seen guys just tie them up in a, in a quiet slough between, you know, the dock slips and just let it float and call it a day. Is that, you know, is that a good idea? Or is that, you know, if it's a quiet slough, there's no wave action, what could it hurt? Uh, you know, PWC is not a good idea. Uh, they can fill up with water pretty quick with, you know, just, you know, heavy rain, uh, waves coming in. Uh, you can also get some debris pulled into or sitting in the intake and then you don't know that you start it up and then you got major problems. So no, I wouldn't say, uh, leave them floating if you can oh, that makes do sense. it, you know, another way. So obviously, you know, if I bought a trailer, I can just yeah. hook it up every weekend, pull it. Sure. It'd probably be okay for the weekend, right? Leave it in for the weekend while you're running around yeah. having fun, but get it back out of the water before you leave for the week. Is that fair? Good practice to do that. Um, I don't have a trailer because I'm cheap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so or, or the dealer didn't sell me one or whatever. All right. So I know there's drive on uh, and there's lifts for uh, PWCs. Which one of those is more economical? Because I'm already cheap because I didn't buy a trailer. Right? Yeah. Uh, the most popular is definitely the drive on. Uh, you can get those, you know, we, we stock them, uh, you know, Lake Martin dock and we're easy port dealer. Those are going to be, you know, uh, most economical to get the sea out of the water, have a safe storage spot for it. Uh, and then, you know, they don't work for every spot on the lake. So you're going to have certain areas that are just going to be too rough. You're going to have too much wave action, uh, boat traffic, this kind of stuff that's not going to work for you. So you'll need other options. When you get into, you know, those areas, you're going to need a lift that's going to be able to raise it out of the water uh, and then, you know, keep it safe out of the water versus floating and, you know, getting banged around, that kind of stuff. And uh, on the, li or excuse me, on the drive-on, so uh, like everything in the world, there's like 50 flavors of different versions. Obviously, we have Easy Dock, yep. um, you know, which is a premium product, you know, for our customers. What are some of those basic differences between, you know, the ones you see on the side of the road, driving mm -hmm. down the road, and, you know, it's like, hey, you know, a hundred bucks and you you have this thing. Obviously, there's something different, right? Yeah. It's two major differences. Uh, one, easy port, the roller system just works better uh, than all other models and, and brands out there. Uh, they're self-adjusting, so they, they accommodate, you know, all the different styles of holes that you're going to have. The other major, major difference is easy port does not have styrofoam inside of the hole. Um, it's not pressurized air, but it's, it's just, it has a thick enough wall and enough, uh, structure in the design to where it doesn't have to have styrofoam to hold its shape. So that's pretty important when, you know, you can have stuff happen where, uh, you know, it's going to damage it or, you know, puncture it, it, it with it having a real, you know, thick wall uh, material, it can still happen. But with other brands out there, uh, they most always have styrofoam inside. And so whenever you do have a puncture on that, you get water coming in, that styrofoam is going to absorb all of that water. You're not going to be able to get the water out. And then you're going to have to literally chop it up because it's going to weigh two tons. Uh, you're going to chop it in pieces to even get it out of there. So uh, it becomes unusable. And then it's a, just a chore to get it out of the water at that point. Easy port, uh, you can actually repair those uh, because they don't have styrofoam. Get them out of the water, get the water out, patch up the hole and you know put it back in. Nice. And, and I think I've, uh, I've seen, you know, obviously the, 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 the drive on ports are relatively easy to get on and off. Sure. Um, you, you hit it on the head, right? If it's super wavy in your, your area, that's something to be determined. Is there any limitations on the actual PWCs that, you know, can go on a drive on versus go into a lift? Um, are all PWCs the same? No, I mean, uh, pretty much all PWCs that are on the market right now would work with easy port. Uh, you got a 1,400 pound capacity on the uh, EasyPort 2i, and that's our most popular model. So they're 14 feet long, so they're accommodating you know the longer uh, PWCs and the ones that are 
weighing, you know, 800, 900 pounds. Uh, so yeah, I would say that there's really no limitations now. And if, if they start producing, you know, larger PWCs, then easy port, easy dock is just going to develop another port to handle it. Yeah. We talked about, you know, most, most PWCs do fine, but obviously we've had some history with a particular brand. Uh, for whatever reason, their design changed over the years, and and they've had some problems with that. Can you can maybe elaborate for some of the folks that might have that brand, and they can kind of verify if a, if a drive on is the right answer for them? Yeah, and in, in the last you know recent years, we've discovered that Yamaha uh, brand in particular, uh, with some of the models, I think it's after 2015, and it's not every model. It's going to be some with a certain uh, whole material that they've, they've come out with that's not working with the drive on. Uh, it's actually damaging the hole with the roller setup. And this is not limited to this easy port. It's all drive on models out there. If you contact Yamaha, they're going to tell you, yeah, it's not recommended with these. So if you're, you know, looking at getting a wave runner, I'd encourage you to talk with your salesman, uh, ask him if it works on drive ons, you know, uh, just ask about the model that, that you're getting and, and make sure that's going to work. And he should be able to guide you and, and make sure you, you make the right decision with uh, the storage options out there. So let's just say, you know, they already bought a way, a way around. They call, Hey, yeah, uh, this is one of the ones with a thin hull. We don't recommend that. Sure. So what's my next choice? Yeah. I mean, so from there we can do vertical lifts uh, where you can have a single option where you can raise it out of the water. You know, uh, we don't really do the, the, the crank lifts anymore. Those are still some options out there, but uh, the electric models are definitely a way to go. You push a button, raise it out of the water. Uh, so you can do single units. We also do dual setups where you have a nice platform in the middle, easier access to put the covers on uh, and so forth. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's plenty of options that would be essentially the same as you're sitting on a boat lift. It's the same as just sitting on a trailer. So right. definitely approved by Yamaha uh, in those those situations. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Well, hopefully it's been helpful, guys. Um, you know, we're we're trying to share kind of what are those inside baseball things. Uh, what do we look at? What are our customers trying to figure out when they're you know they, they've made a big investment in a couple of PWCs, and uh, we want to keep keep that investment safe over the over the summer and, and the winter. So. Hopefully you'll join us for some more insights as we continue on the series and appreciate you guys joining us. Thanks again, Danny. Thanks. Sir.